sure um, you've, been to the, you've been to the village before. Oh, quite a, quite a few have not been to the village before. We're very excited because you guys have a big outreach out there. We're always wondering how welcoming the opportunity to share our story and hopefully get you to share a little bit more so we'll be able to serve more children. Uh, Give Kids a World, of course, is a nonprofit resort destination for children from all over the world. And these um, children and families share a common bond. They have a child between the ages of 3 and 18 with a life-threatening illness whose one wish is to come visit all of the wonderful things that we have to offer here in um, Central Florida. Whether that be Mickey Mouse, or now it's um, Anna and Elsa, mm -hmm. yes, from Frozen, um, or swimming with the dolphins, uh, seeing Shamu, maybe visiting the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. And if given the chance, half of all children diagnosed with a life-threatening illness, this would be their wish. So we have served now since we started back in 1986, um, 138,000 families. And we get those families from all 50 states and 76 countries around the world. But to, and I know that might sound like a staggering number, but to help put that in perspective, there's about 30,000 children diagnosed with a life-threatening illness in the United States alone every year. And that's just in the United States. So we're just beginning to scratch the surface. And there are so many reasons that we're not seeing all of the children that we should be seeing. And it's because of, of awareness. There's a lot of families out there and children who aren't aware that when they have life-threatening illness, they can take advantage of the wish. So hopefully through some of the channels that you have, we're going to get that message out to be able to serve many more families. Now these families come to us again from all over the world. It's completely cost-free for them. They stay with us for a week in one of our beautiful two-bedroom, two-bath, completely furnished villas, completely wheelchair accessible. And then, of course, they get to go to all four Disney parks, both Universal parks, um, SeaWorld, they go to Aquatica, they can go to Legoland, they can go over to the Cape and see the Kennedy Space Center. And again, all cost-free for them and whatever they'd like to do. So they stay with us for a week, and then we provide all their meals and attraction tickets and transportation, and then some incredible opportunities for them to get some entertainment right here. So um, every Monday night we have Halloween. No matter what, what month it is, every Monday night at o'clock we have Halloween. And we do face painting for the kids and allow them to go trick-or-treating up along the avenue. And we were just the recipients of an amazing gift a few months ago. We went up to the Sweets and Snacks convention up in Chicago and we got to take all the leftover candy and snacks home. And that was 25 tons. Oh my God. I get 25 tons of candy. Uh, that's three tractor trailer loads, in case you're wondering. So that should do us for about a year, and then we'll need to go back next year and, and get another um, shipment. Then uh, we actually, on uh, Tuesday nights, we have a big uh, Mayor Clayton's birthday party. Mayor Clayton is my boss, the kind of boss you want. He's a strong, silent type. He's a six foot tall bunny rabbit. And so we celebrate his birthday once a week. On Wednesday nights, we have the Village Idol program, and it's much like American Idol. The kids get up on stage and perform, and we have other kids that are the judges. And of course, at the end of the event, we ask the judges um, for, their, for their winner that night, and they go, this has never happened in the history of Big Kids the World. Everybody's a winner. Of course, that happens every Wednesday at Big Kids the World, because everybody is a winner. And then, of course, the balloons and the streamers come down. It's very exciting. And then the kids line up to get their autographs for the kids that perform. So that's really cool. Every Thursday night is Christmas. And we um, have a Winter Wonderland parade. And Santa Claus comes. And Hasbro provides that all the toys for us. So every child gets a gift that night. Uh, we have horse-drawn carriage rides. And then we make it snow on the avenue for that event. On Friday nights, our big Pirates and Princesses party. And then we have a big pool patch. So, um, as you can see, unfortunately, about 65% of the time during the evening, uh, during the year, it rains, just like it is right now. And all those great outdoor parties, up until a couple months ago, we had absolutely no place to bring those parties inside. So that's why we did, built the Town Hall building, which we opened at the first part of June, started moving in. And so now we're able, after we complete the gingerbread house where the families will now eat, We'll be able to use this facility, so if it's raining on the outside, we'll bring the party inside so the kids can trick or treat in here, and they can, we can do the big parade in here. I don't think we can bring the swimming pool in, but we'll find a way to bring a pool back, a big pool back party in here as well. So we're very excited about this. Um, this is a 53,000 square foot building. We've been dreaming about this building for many years, so we're very excited when we're able to open it. Um, along with it, we have now a food court that you all just got to see, and it's pretty amazing. I hope that you like it. So Perkins operates Nancy's Kitchen for us. 
and they provide the breakfast and then the dinners. And then Katie's Kitchen is Boston Market, and that's the Boston Market menu, which I think I saw some of you folks enjoying their great macaroni and cheese and chicken and stuff like that. Um, then we recently just established a partnership with Papa John's. And so our Mama Mary's Pizzeria, we are now Papa John's franchisee. So that's wonderful Papa John's pizza if you got to see that. And then we have salad bars. We're trying, of course, always to offer more healthy. Of course, the families that visit us have a lot of food allergies and things like that as well. So we're always looking for gluten-free products and sugar-free products and all of those kinds of things. Too. So it's truly a stress-free week for the families. The characters come a couple mornings a week. So Disney sends their characters out on Mondays and Thursday mornings so the families don't have to wait in those long lines at the park to get their picture taken with Mickey and Minnie. Um, Universal sends their characters out one day a week, and then SeaWorld sends their costume characters out, but then on our Halloween night, they send out a, and is it a two-toed or a three-toed slot? I get confused. Is it a two-toed slot? Okay, so it's a two-toed slot and an ant here, so the kids can interact with them. So again, it's all about creating so many incredible memories for the families here, and to take them out of that world that they've been thrust into of doctor's appointments and medical treatments and hospital stays and hopefully for one week have as much excitement and fun in and create a happiness that inspires hope so they can go back and hopefully have a renewed spirit to battle their illness and win. And we have some amazing stories out of those 138,000 families that have visited us. Um, one, my favorite, is a little girl named that we've lovingly adopted as Princess Alyssa. She visited us back in 2001. She had stage three kidney cancer and was on hospice care when she came down over Christmas for her wish from Wisconsin. She was three years old. When she went back home, she sat down with her doctor and said, if you want to get kids well, don't give them shots anymore. Send them to give kids the world. It's magic medicine. She's now 17 years old. There is no medical reason why she survived, why the tumor began to shrink after her visit, but she feels in her heart as to her parents. It was the experience here that gave her that renewed spirit. Now, um, it's amazing. She wants to take my job one day, and probably by the time she's ready, I'll be ready. Um, so I'm very excited. She's a delightful young lady who is now entering her senior year in high school. But that's just one, one story. And we know there's so many more that the families believe that this experience truly did either extend the life of their child or save the life of their child. Now, we wish that all of the stories had that happy ending. We know for a fact that they don't. Uh, but we also know that no matter what happens, at least the families have this one week where they have some wonderful memories to reflect back on instead of all that litany of doctor's appointments and things like that. So very exciting for us to, to have, have some of those wonderful stories. We've got some other great things that are happening. As I mentioned, we've served 138,000 families. We have 144 villas here, but we'll probably end up putting over 700 families off property this year because we promised never to turn down a child, and we never have. But that means that many times during the year we're having to put families off property. So hopefully in the next few weeks we'll break down to 24 more villas. And then after that, well, yes, thank you. Yeah. 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 I hope that those will be ready um, in early summer next year. And if that goes well, then we've got space for 48 more villas in that same property. So hopefully, again, even though we don't turn down the families, we put them on property, and trust me, they're not slumming. They're staying at the Grand Floridian or the Poly, Polynesian or the Contemporary. But what we know is that the real value of the experience is to be here. Because so many of these children have outward manifestations of their illness and they're, they always feel like they're being stared at or they just don't feel normal. For here for one week, if you can just imagine what it must be like for them just to feel normal again and not have to worry about if somebody's staring at their child and wondering what's wrong. Because they're just here, they're family. And so that's why we feel it's really important that we get those villas built here so that we can continue to add on. Um, some other exciting things, I don't know if you follow our, um, our Twitter account, Instagram, and all those things, which I'm not really good at, but Mark and Kathleen certainly are, is we had a really neat visitor um, last Monday. Kevin Bacon came to town. And um, one of the very special things about the village is we have an ice cream palace that's open from 7.30 in the morning until 9.30 at night. So the families, kids can have banana splits, hot fudge sundaes for breakfast, lunch, uh, you know, poor bed snack, and it's probably the biggest hit of all. Well, Kevin came to town, who's doing a presentation. As you know, he has a, 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 a nonprofit foundation called Six Degrees. And of course, you know the story, there's a game about six degrees of separation from Kevin Bacon, and that everyone can be connected within six steps. 
And so we had a precious little boy named Ethan here that um, challenged him to a six-second ice cream contest, an ice cream eating contest. So I think we have a video of that. Is Are you ready to show that? So you can see how it turned out. It's kind of fun. I'm Kevin Bacon, and this is Ethan, my man. We're here at Give Kids the World Village near Orlando. This is a not-for-profit resort for seriously ill kids and their families. Now, right here, we have the Ice Cream Eating Palace, where kids can get ice cream whenever they want, even for breakfast. Now, Ethan here thinks that he can eat more ice cream than me. So he's challenged me to a contest, right? Yeah. So. For the next six seconds, we are going to battle it out, and the winner gets bragging rights. The loser gets to give six bucks to give kids the world. Now, why six seconds and six dollars? You probably heard that you can connect any two people, like me and Ethan, through six steps or less. That means that we're all really connected to the kids who come here to give kids the world. All right. Where's the timer? That's you, Mayor. Awesome. Okay. Here's my spoon. I'm just going to cheat a little bit and clean this up. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? Are you sure you're ready? Yes. You're not going to use your spoon? <laughs> All right. I see where this is going. Are you ready, everybody? Let's do it. You won. <laughs> Here's your winner. I never had a chance. You know what? I'm going to take this six bucks and give it to Give Kids the World. What do you think? Sounds like a good idea? Yes. Pounded. Nice job. <laughs> now it's your turn. Ethan and I challenge you to take the challenge yourself. Use the hashtag GKTWChallenge and share your videos at gktw.org slash bacon. It's a cool way to get involved, right? All right. Thank you. One more bite. Seriously, he was loving that ice cream. I think both of them were. But that's just one of the things that we're doing, um, just to kind of spread awareness and do some fundraising activities for Give Kids the World. We have to raise about $17 million a year in order to provide the experiences that we provide. And then on top of that, an additional $24 million a year in in-kind services. So it's a pretty big, pretty big operation. And so we rely on, again, folks tell, you know, helping to share our message to get it out there. And I think Kevin's got quite a big following. And it's hit his Facebook page, and he's got lots of likes and forwards and what are those things that you call it? Just passing it on. Thank you, people. What is that? Shares. I knew that was the word. I was just right on the tip of my tongue. Um, so anyway, that's very exciting. We've got a lot of other great things that are happening. Of course, uh, next March, we will celebrate our 30th anniversary on March 7th, uh, which is pretty amazing when you think about it. We've got some of the wonderful partners that we've had since the very beginning. And we'll be doing a, a quite a big several-day celebration over the course of a few days, and then, of course, carrying it on through probably the rest of the year, a la Disney. They used to celebrate for 18 months. We'll probably celebrate a good 12. Um, one of the things that make, I think, Give Kids the World so special and the families remember are our volunteers. We are very blessed to have around 15,000 active volunteers. We fill about 1,400 volunteer shifts each and every week. And we've done some studies, and about 84% of those are jobs that we would have to provide paid labor for if we did not have the volunteers. And that's pretty amazing. These are folks anywhere from ages of you know, 12 we have when they come with a group, 16 all the way up. I think our oldest volunteer up until recently was in her early 90s. And up until last year, was still driving herself uh, one day a week to come out and volunteer. So it's a great opportunity for, <coughs> excuse me, for kids to get their community service hours, um, for you know, the retirees to come down, or snowbirds who look down here during the winter and then go back home during the summer when it's too hot down here for them. So all of those things really kind of help us. 
And then we're very proud, too, of our administrative rate. If you're familiar with nonprofit organizations, you're considered good. If, if, if out of every dollar you spend, 65 cents goes to the program and 35 cents goes to fundraising and overhead. Well, we just finished our audit for the past year, and ours was 6.9% of every dollar spent went to administration and overhead. So we're very proud of that. We've been recognized by Charity Navigator on many occasions for, you know, with our four stars. So we're very proud of that as well. And again, that just helps with, with volunteers and all the other things that we do. So I think um, I'd like to see if you had any questions. I've probably covered a lot of it. I could talk for hours about If It's a World. But if there's anything specific you'd like to know, please let me know. I think we've got a tour planned if you want to do that as well. I don't know if the rain has let up some, but hopefully um, you'll be able to go out and, and see a little bit more of the village and hopefully get into a villa. Anyone have any questions at all? Yes, ma'am. We don't. The question is, do we have doctors and nurses on staff? We don't. Hopefully there's not going to be anything here that's going to remind children of doctors and hospitals. We've got a wonderful relationship with Arnold Palmer Hospital downtown and New Moore's Hospital. So that, and of course with the EMTs in the area, if they get a 911 call, they're very familiar with us. But again, we don't want them to be reminded of that. So the only thing we have, we've got some first aid kits and that's about it. But we would, we would like not to have that. The other thing that you'll notice is even though we get most of our funding through corporate partners, there's no signage here in the village. So even though it's Papa John's Pizza, we're serving, we call it Mama Mary's. It's Boston Market food that we're serving, but we call it um, Katie's Kitchen. Because even though it is charity, we don't want the families to feel like it's charity. And so there won't be anything here that's you know, kind of neon flashing lights, like this building was built by this particular company or that. Anything else? Any other questions? Yes, I know. Years ago, when um, Holly and Family Suites was around, right. I worked with them and stuff. Oh, and Kate Moore was a big part of the world at this point. What's the update on her? The question was um, Katie Gore. She was a wish child, oh my goodness, way back in the early, early, early days, probably within the first three years that we were here. She was a precious little girl. She was HIV positive. Um, it was transmitted to her um, at birth. And uh, right now, she's actually finished college and she's doing well. Unfortunately, she lost her mom um, and lost her grandmother, but she's still, she's doing very, very well. Thank you for asking now. Yeah. Many of you, I don't know if you all remember this or if anybody, it's been around as long as you have, because that goes way back. We had um, the first poster that we, that we had about Give Kids the World was this precious little girl. She was three years old and she was sitting um, with Pluto by our pool, and that was Kate Gore. So if you, get, if you ever see one of those really old posters, that's her. So it's another really good story. That she survived. Other questions? Yeah, well, thank you again for being out here. We really appreciate all your support. Um, I think I'm going to turn it back over to is Mark. Oh.